It's finally here. We're finally ready to get started. Welcome to Disco Elysium. Yeah. AKA um, No Truce with the Furies is what this game's name was supposed to be called. Wow. That is a badass, badass. name. <laughs> but they didn't go with it. They didn't go with it. Um, they went with Disco Elysium, and I assume in time. We will find out why. This is the game that I played about three, maybe four hours of. About I'd say about three. And it was so fucking good that I just ejected and said, we can't continue until we do this on stream. But it was it, there was so much dialogue that we need that we couldn't possibly talk it all out. Right. It would be exhausting. They've released the final cut. Now we can finally do this. It's no problem. Voice acting everywhere. We're covered. Let's fucking go keep in mind as we go forward how much we would have had to say you know i'll, I'll look at the how many uh, yeah played, you yeah. said tea and fucking honey mm -hmm. right like yeah. yeah we would it would have been nuts so let's get ready also i don't know how comfortable you are with getting weird and political but this shit is gonna fucking pop off this is all fantasy right i have been warned about how much this is gonna pop off and how real this will oh, get. Yeah, disclaimer, this does not reflect the views of Wooly Versus. We're just playing the or game. Or maybe it reflects the deepest views. <laughs> the truest views that we didn't even know we had. This is who we are. This maybe we truly are, okay. We ain't cowards. Yep, yep, not we afraid. Exposing everything. I don't know what's coming. Fighting for what's right. So what are we gonna do here? Um, step one, streamer mode on, because streamer mode replaces certain copyrighted pieces of music with alternative tracks safe for streaming. That is a godsend. Thank you, Disco Elysium. We appreciate you for giving us this option. Very nice. Right underneath that, Twitch integration. What does that do? With Twitch integration, streamers can create polls so that their viewers can influence gameplay. I've never had that before. Viewers can vote for their favorite dialogue options and give temporary bonuses and penalties to the streamer's main attributes. They can also view the streamer's character sheet and journal at any time, so they can mess with us. They can mess with us. Oh boy. So Reggie, part of what I'm looking forward to here is the fact that while I started this on my own, this time around, you're here with me. Mm -hmm. And you can help make some of these decisions. Yeah. So, before we even hit that button, we start here. Do you want to give them power? I don't trust people. You don't trust people. I do not trust people. Because we're in for a wild experience if we give them power. <laughs> this is my first time through it. So, you feel... <laughs> nah... I, I'm, I'm tempted to I'm tempted to say no. Nah. I'm tempted to say no. Nah, because okay. the more people you get in a party, the worse it'll get. Okay. Right? Right? But. But. What about the. What about the fun, though? So what you're saying is fuck communism? <laughs> 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 it, it starts is, already. It, it is what it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, the vibe I'm getting is that it is embracing chaos, but a lot of folks are saying it perhaps would be better off. Could, I mean, if we could always maybe turn it on and then off at some point just to see how it go. But I'm going to trust um, the, the voices suggesting to not give them the power. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you, I'm, I, I was completely ambivalent on it. I could have gone either way. Uh, the, 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 the democratic voice coming through right now is generally suggesting no, and you're saying no. Uh, you have uh, equal voting power, <laughs> if not more, than they do. Then, yeah. But collectively, between the two of you, that's a no and a no. Mm. So even if I had a yes... See, the people have power, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, depends. As long as you fall in line. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did we just shoot from bottom left to top right? <laughs> Uh-oh. You gotta cover the whole spectrum. See? Oh, no. <laughs> I think I know this kid, but I might not. <laughs> I might not. So we will, we will save that as is. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Um. And just like when it came to dubs versus subs in various games and other fun things, I am not opposed to temporarily trying something out and coming back to it, folks. So if we have the ability to maybe turn it on for one session out of fun mm -hmm. and see how it go, I'm not opposed to that. I'm, I'm not down. opposed to that. Yes. Just keep that in mind. I'm, I'm, I'm down for whatever. I'm down to try shit out. You know, especially if it's not a hard commit. So. Let's go. Ooh. And the first decision is here. Thinker. Extremely intelligent, bad with people, knows interesting facts, and comes up with original ideas. Five intelligence, one psych, psyche, excuse me, uh, two physique, and six motorics. How you well you move like a your cloud. body, how your motor functions. <laughs> Sensitive, it's very psychological, magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin. Did I say to six, lose four. I misread. Mind. Sorry. I'm already. I'm already fucking. Yes. Okay. We got. So these are archetypes. You're getting plus encyclopedia here. Here you're getting plus inland empire, uh, and then physical. Extremely physical. Interacts with the world through his body. Gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Or you could create your own. Create your own character. Now, motherfucker. What's my goddamn name? Who the fuck do you think I am? That I'm not going to create my own character if you give me the options. I don't know where you think you are. <laughs> but I am creating yep. my own shit every single time. Spec it well. Uh, this is how we do. So, uh, great, good, weak, terrible... Intellect, psyche, physique, motor functions. All right. So that's five, four, two, and one. So you got twelve points to allocate, or? Uh, well, if we, if we bring them all yep. down. All right. So it would seem. Eight. Now I'm a fan of being uh, in control of my body, yeah. even if it's not that muscular. Right. I like being. At the very least, functional. That's pretty good. Intellect yeah. is also important. You don't want to, like, leak your pants while you're giving a speech. Yep. You want to walk like a normal person. And I would I would say that, like, being average in all circumstances is pretty fucking underwhelming. Mm, you know? This I is agree. a pretty boring person. So I don't mind being uh, strong in intellect or strong in psyche. Uh, how do you feel? Huh, I like how they have emotional intelligence, which might come in the way of my political interests. Interesting. Interesting. You no, know, like, what if I start caring about people? Okay. I don't know if I want to go down that road. I'm inclined to have high edges and low middles, personally. I'm inclined yes. to, to start, like, going a, oh, li wow. a little wild. Um... I'm inclined to start going a little extreme, you know? But the question is, is like, do you want to be genius? Or are we talking like really great at our, our agility and movement? Okay, because if you're really, really smart, but you can't relate to people, people won't do what you want. So I would say, fuck the physique. Because if you can put my brain in a robot, then I'll do it. Okay, fuck my body. How about that? Physic and say to one. Modorix, though? Hmm. How agile nope. are you? So, are. no musculature means we're going to suffer in any, uh, in any, like, feats of strength. Yeah. You know? How about five intellect, two psyche, two physic, and three Modorix? How does that five two two three? Right. I don't mind that. Would you tweak it a bit? I would tweak. Yeah, that's a decent spread. I would do. I yeah. I don't mind that. Let me see how this looks for a second. Mm. 
Mm. Right? Extremes are fun. Yeah. Yeah. Extremes are fun. It's not one. So So I'll take your suggestion and I'll make a single a single movement on it. That's good. That's good. I like it. We're smart. All right. We're going to try to relate to the lesson This people. page, dude. This fucking page right here. Skills. Each of these skills that we can pick and move through are different parts are different parts of our brain effectively oh and they're like almost like different voices they're basically different characters that exist in your mind that come in and it's that vo it's the devil on your shoulder yeah or the other devil on your shoulder or the other devil or the other one or the other one and they're all giving you their own fucking, like, you know, whatever. What is our signature skill? The skill that we'll select that gains a plus one bonus. Additionally, the learning cap for every skill um, of the same type will be raised by plus one. So okay. we can go much higher with everything in that same category. Logic, right? Encyclopedia. Rhetoric. Let's see if we get the details by... Um, we get the details by clicking on it for further information. Yes. There we go. There's the overview and info. So this guess. is this stuff here. To be honest, we, we might take a second because this is actually pretty important. From what I remember from just touching the game, this is going to be what allows us to do things mm -hmm. or denies us the ability. And if you have a voice of something that needed higher points, but you can't do it, that will be indicated to you. Okay. You know? So, logic. Yeah. Raw intellectual power. Deduce the world. Yes. Uh, is there a second? Yes, there is. Oh, wow. It's a lot of stuff. Analysts, pure rationalists, logicians. Analyze the living daylights out of the case. Uh, piece evidence together. Detect mm -hmm. inconsistencies. Mm -hmm. Impress everyone with your conclusions. There you go. Uh, at high level, you can solve the most complicated puzzles. You'll you'll be proud and susceptible to intellectual flattery. Blinded by your by your own brilliance, uh, low levels of logic, you're going to have a hard time solving even the simplest puzzles. Okay. Uh, this, even though the voice acting has not yet kicked in, so we might need to actually yeah. uh, be certain while we, we look at this. Uh, so that's that's a pretty pretty decent possibility. Uh, encyclopedia. Okay, so Call upon your knowledge. Produce fascinating trivia. Yeah. So this is just like you know, you know, it, it's it's uh, it's not necessarily intelligence as much as it is wisdom, right? So, uh, cool for thinkers, historians, trivia freaks. You're a trivia freak. Mm -hmm. In real life, yes, you I fucking am. love trivia. Yes. Can't get enough. Encyclopedia makes you a know it all. Up, uh, excuse me, turning your mind into a database of facts. It makes you, uh, it enables you to draw on. Damn, the font is still pretty small, isn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, and this is, a, this is a new TV. Yeah. Uh, I could uh, manage the reading if you want, or we could go. We, I, I would prefer if we if we shared it, but let me let me just see if I can uh, actually change that option right off the bat. Uh, back up, back up. One second, folks. Text size. Is it max already? That might be the maximum. <laughs> okay. All right. That's what we got. Text size is as big as it gets. Okay. An attempt was made. Thanks for remembering. I appreciate nice. that. Uh, encyclopedia. Uh, yes. So it enables you to draw your on these facts immediately, offering a wealth of background knowledge to all things related and unrelated to your case. Who knows when the history of cigarette brands will provide the breakthrough you need to arrest a murderer or when knowledge of pre-revolutionary guns might save a life at high levels encyclopedia shares wealth of knowledge 
at an almost overwhelming to an almost overwhelming degree while it may give you crucial breakthroughs it more often will clutter your mind with useless doubts uh, useless tidbits excuse me um with low levels of encyclopedia though you'll be forced to work with only the clues in front of you without any background knowledge copying is going to be rough stuff this is amazing yeah and this is this is the world we are entering yeah. it is and again it is it is like a pen and paper tabletop world it is very elaborate um rhetoric practice the art of persuasion Enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. Mm. Urges you to debate, make intellectual discourse nitpick, and win. Uh, you can break down arguments and hear what people are saying for real. Uh, spot fallacies as soon as they're used. Why exactly did the waiter leave out their testimony? What was the dancer trying to divert you from? Objection. Was, was that double entente intended? Or did you just get an accidental lead? Yeti! <laughs> Yo! I like it. So high I like it. High level, you will be an impressive political beast, one whose beliefs are impenetrable, one whose mind will not change, who will calcify. With low rhetoric, you have a hard time shooting down arguments, and nailing people to their testimonies will be nigh impossible. Reggie. Mm -hmm. Are you a fan of destroying things with facts and logic? <laughs> yes. Big time. Ah, curious. Hmm. Shave off the inconsistencies. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's not bad. Yo, talk no jutsu. Let's go. Drama. Uh, Got to go back to the overview here. Play the actor, lie, and detect lies. That's also pretty good. That's a power, man. Cool for undiscovered cops, undercover cops, thespians of the stage, and psychopaths. Drama urges you to treat the world as a stage and on it to perform. It enables you to lie, to, connect, uh, to concoct the most elaborate and wonderful stories, to take on ingenious personas and perform acts of stagecraft in an entertaining amalgam of uh, four, four, four berry, <laughs> I'm not sure, forbury, uh, and detect, uh, and deceit, excuse me, uh, as well, it enables you to uh, see through, oh my god, sorry, it enables you to see through would-be actors and their false antics. If they lie, you'll know immediately. At high levels, drama may render you an insufferable thespian, uh, one prone to hysterics and bouts of paranoia. For you, uh, for to know the world is a stage, is to know that truth is uh, vanity. However, <sighs> sorry, uh, with low drama, you cannot lie or discern when others lie and a cop who can't do either is a cop who's soon going to be lying six feet under. Mm. Okay. Yep. Gotta act. Act right. <sighs> I wish font sizes was a thing. Yeah. For real, real. Uh, okay. Conceptualization. Understand creativity. See art in the world. Hmm. Cool for creative, psychedelic fanciers, critics. Conceptualization has a special role it wants you to play in this world. Not the role of cop, but of art cop. It enables you to make fresh associations. <laughs> <laughs> to delve into world concepts from John Jan Karp's postmodernist Carperie to Revachol's arabesque architectural style Dideridada and even the concept of hardcore. Oh, that is. And then, importantly, to add your own contribution to these works. At high levels, it makes you go big, perhaps too big. It is ostentatious, demanding grand displays. Why live life when you can throw yourself into a live volcano? At low levels, however, you will be unable to see the world in a creative light. You will be unable to contribute to conversations in an <laughs> art gallery. Only boring people will invite you to their dust parties. <laughs> I mean, that's like 
That's a fucking that, that's some wild shit. <laughs> um, hardcore. Okay. Art cop. Art cop is on the table. Not gonna lie. Visual calculus. Reconnect. Reconstruct crime scenes. Make law. Make laws of physics work for the law. Oh. Visual uh, for forensic scientists, tactical fighters, math-minded people. Visual calculus versus you not only in the laws of the state but the laws of nature. It enables you to create virtual crime scene models in your mind's eye. You'll see how a bullet shattered the glass, and from that trace its trajectory with mathematical precision. You'll also count so many footprints, and at a glance discern shoe size and design, as well as the height, weight, and gender of one who wore them. At high levels, visual calculus makes the world reveal its secrets to you, but you may be so absorbed by your mind diorama, you don't notice as crooks steal your pants. However, at low levels, your mind's eye will be blind. Reconstructing crime scenes will be difficult without outside help. So this is that Sherlock shit, Mm -hmm. that detective vision shit, and I would even say to a a lesser degree that uh, Willem Dafoe in Boondock Saints. Oh, shit. yes. And that was a fire fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun skill. That's just cool. That's beautiful. The ability to walk in and just put the story back, piece it all together. It's just cool. It's, it's, it's nothing else to it, you know? All right, now we get down to Psyche and we've got Volition. Hold yourself together. Keep your moat Rao, keep your morale up. For sane, well-adjusted cops, the non-suicidal. Volition urges you to be a good guy. Okay, well, we don't need that then. To others and to yourself. Okay, well, maybe to ourselves. It enables you to resist temptation, be it in a bottle, between a pair of legs, mm. or at the end of an iron barrel which promises oblivion. Church. Yeah. <laughs> Volition gives you the will to finish the investigation, improving your morale, one of the two health pools in the game. Okay, at high levels, Volition uh, makes you hyper sane. When you're about to get funky, it keeps you normal. It's a bit of a party pooper. At low levels, however, you'll have little morale. Without it, you'll be a profoundly unstable cop, falling apart at the seams as you make irreversible mistakes. Well, you know. If you're unstable and you fall apart, if anything, the police force will investigate and know what to do. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it doesn't seem that important to me up to now. But I don't know. This this is like mental fortitude. Yeah. So like yeah, and it's spe- and it straight up specifies one of the two health pools in the game, right? So um, yeah, that that sounds pretty important too. Inland fucking empire. This is one of the cool ones. And I was like, what is that? What is that? And apparently it's a reference to a a film from like 20, no, maybe way older years ago. Um, And and it's it's David Lynch and it's uh, hunches and gut feelings, dreams in waking life. And like, I would assume that like, because I haven't seen uh, you know, I haven't I haven't seen the source material, so but like the name yeah, I almost seen Twin Peaks. But the name almost makes me think of like um, you know, a uh, 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 turning inward and just a complex like construction, like an like again, you're you're almost like a Ajna, an inner mm. an inner fucking city of just things and 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 you know whatever. So so here, it'll, it'll elaborate, but. Cool for dreamers, power natural investigators, mental creators. Inland empire. Mind palace shit, exactly. Is the unfiltered wellspring of imagination, emotion, and foreboding. It in in it. It enables you to grope your way through invisible dimensions of reality, gaining insight into that which sight can see. What's really going? What do these enigmatic riddles mean for the world fate? At high levels, inland empire animates the inanimate. You'll have conversation with your clothing, conversation that may change the course of the investigation if you're not thrown in the lunin bin first. Uh, with low inland empire, however, you'll be void of imagination and character. And then how will you shape the cosmos? That's it. Like, 
Again, I, I, I'm sure the source material would be the best way to represent that kind of stat. You know, that David Lynch shit, where it's just kind of like, what the fuck is happening? What do you even... Are you grounded or not? You know, but um, I'm wondering if, like, I'm thinking about the way um, uh, Matthew McConaughey is in season one of um, True Detective, where he just, like, opens his mouth and, like, goes into a thousand-yard stare and, like, just is going to another place on the crime scene and just tilting around and going, uh-huh. And then, like, you, then dude's like, yo, what, what's going through your brain? And he just goes off. And he's gone. In another direction. Just That's thinking. the energy I get from that stat. Okay. That seems to be pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I have a big Inland Empire, personally, then. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> if you, you don't let it show. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you, you definitely uh, uh, put the walls up between verbalizing it, you mm -hmm. know, versus what's, what's happening. Empathy. Understand others. Work your mirror neurons. That's a double-edged sword. Cool for judges of character, interviewers, and interrogators. Empathy breaks into the souls of others and forces you to feel what's inside. It enables you to notice social cues others may miss. Perhaps a hidden sadness you could coax out a little more. A strange joy from someone who should be bereaved. Or a hidden resentment that could return to harm you later. At high levels, empathy really puts you in other people's shoes. You'll cry for their sorrows, punch walls to relieve their angers, and be an even more unstable cop. With low empathy, however, you'll be an ungainly beast, unable to talk to anyone without upsetting them. Double-edged sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hurts. Authority. Authority. You know, some might say to take this job, this stat has to already be pretty fucking high. <laughs> Intimidate the public. Assert yourself. Respect. Cool for leaders, experts of psychological warfare. Respect junkies. Mm -hmm. Authority urges you to assert and reassert your dominance over those around you. Casually known as off. It's like my off. It enables you to understand the power dynamics of groups of thugs, know how far you can push a perpetrator, and how to establish control of situations. At high levels, authority demands respect. Even a perceived slight could send you into knee-breaking mode. With low authority, however, you are forever in awkward situations, like when you suffer psychological breakdowns after you yell at teenagers and they laugh at you. Oh man, I think we need better psyche really. So that's the thing is these these paragraphs tell you here's what it does, but if you don't have any, here's the problem. Yeah. Right? And this is what it is. It's like not everything is about the gains of having it high. Some things are just about the defenses of it being too low. Mm -hmm. Insecurities are the opposite of the benefits these things give you, and you need to be aware of those. You know, and let me tell you right now, this game kind of is at the very least in my first impression about you being a fucking mess. Okay. You're a wreck. Yeah, I don't think you we're going to unbalanced. There's nothing that's going to be stable. After no, we're done you're not this. balanced. Nope. So just you got to. So being aware of this is, is important. And we're all ar we're already off fucking balance. Top heavy. <laughs> Head too big. This oh. Jenga tower is going to fall. Wobble, wobble. Uh, esprit de corps. Connect to Station 41. Understand cop culture. Um, that is a... So that's French for, like, body fortitude. Okay, yeah. For those of you. Cool for cops, cop aficionados, and pretend cops. Esprit de corps is the very spirit of policing. The cop geist. It enables you to understand your blue-souled sisters and brothers, not only by picking up subtle signals from your partner, but by witnessing flash sideways scenes as they play out in your precinct. At high levels, you'll be the very heart of the police force, not only willing and able, but obliged to take a bullet for your partner. However, without esprit de corps, you'll be flying blind, unable to understand discreet remarks colleagues make in high-stakes situations, remarks that might just save your life. Damn cop energy mm. 
Let's see how many people tell us it's supposed to be a spirit the corpse. <laughs> Get out of here. You know there is more than one. You know they're out there. I've talked to these people. Oh my god. Beasts. <laughs> uh, suggestion. Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Cool for diplomats, charmers, sociopaths. Dio! Mm. <laughs> mm. Charisma! Would you not follow Dio? Don't lie. Don't lie. You would follow Dio. <laughs> Have you looked into those eyes? Yo. Have you seen those cheekbones? Mm. Suggestion urges that a soft... Uh, uh, Suggestion urges a soft power approach. If people think they want what you want, you've already won. This skill enables you to implant ideas into the minds of others. You can make citizens like you more. You can make gangsters turn on each other, too. Many crime rings have been broken by just a little doubt, after all. High level, suggestion makes you affable to everyone and more resistant to their charms in turn. But all that smoozing schmoozing and oozing charm will make you slimy and you'll know it even if no one else does with low levels though you'll have difficulty getting any kind of rapport with others you'll be alone both during the day and at night there you go i'm gonna take this opportunity to let the viewer know that we're playing this and we are going to enjoy it this is going to take some time it's not a short game there's a lot of things to go through here mm -hmm. But a lot of this writing and a lot of the strength of this game is in how fucking good this stuff is written, right? So, with that being said, if you're here for a fast click through, you are in the wrong place, my friend. We're taking our time. We're reading these out because they're great. Yep. All right. I'm going to eat everything off that chicken wing. Yeah. All right. Cartilage, the meat, it's going to be dry. Okay. We're going to enjoy it. Support the anime. Click fast forward if need be whatever speed to click for do your thing but in real time we're gonna get through this because we want to understand these stats before we start picking mm -hmm. them all right yeah gotcha already i'm thinking about like modifying these stats so let's read yeah. these information well that's the thing is there's folks that know all of this super well already yeah. and just want to hope that you somehow figure that out but we're not doing that endurance man this art is incredible dude i love it mm -hmm. look at authority yep. fucking that's what they that's the that's the the vision you know ah anyway Good endurance ending, yeah. take the blows don't let the world kill you cool for fighters who can take a hit lookouts who don't sleep human batteries endurance is your metabolism and circulatory system it improves your health one of the two health pools in the game uh, enables to survive being a cop who cares if you can't aim a gun if you can take a few bullets, why be afraid of drugs that hurt your health if you're a very, very healthy man? At high levels, endurance en enables you to take a few knocks to the head, enjoy a greater quantity of drugs, and shake off a few cardiac arrests. It makes you a powerful man who looks down on the weaklings who can't keep up. However, cops with low endurance are likely to struggle. The body is frail already, and the flesh of a cop will be often tested. And if it doesn't pass, it dies. Damn. Important. Yep. Important. Mm. HP? Pain threshold. Shrug off the pain. They'll have to hurt you more. Hurt me more, society. Cool four. Unstoppable fighters. Guys who won't die. Masochists. Mm. Pain threshold ignores damage so you can push on, bloodied and crawling, to the bitterest end. It enables you to negate damage you would otherwise take. Even mental pain, heartache, and loneliness. In fact, these things can become a thrill you seek out and perversely revel in. At high levels, pain threshold turns in on itself in a seriously unhealthy way, with full-on self-destructive behavior. With a low pain threshold, however, you will suffer too easily. Even a slap from a teenager will make you whine and complain. Raiden. Mm. Mm, Absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'm creating mental bookmarks on some of these. Yeah. Because yeah, I did this. For, I did this my, my own on my own last time, but I, I, I forget how things shook up, you know. Because uh, 
That was a while ago. Physical instrument. Flex powerful muscles. Enjoy healthy organs. Cool for muscle men. Bare knuckle brawlers. <laughs> gym teachers. Physical instrument is not only your muscles Anderson. and your skeleton. It is your ability to use them effectively. It enables you to do push-ups, sit-ups, knockout punches, and 360-degree spin kicks. And no scopes. It's a one-size-fits-all solution to thriving and surviving in a physical world. At high levels, it breaks doors, chains, and bones, and it makes you laugh at the Namby pansies who can't. You'll be manned up, encouraging others to curl iron until they're manned up too. At low levels, however, you'll have a hard time arresting anyone who isn't infirm or already dead. Indeed, engaging in physical confrontations could leave you in either state. <laughs> Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Electrochemistry. Oh, this one. Yeah. I ju even just the wording of that. Go to uh, go to Party Planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Cool for high flyers, party enthusiasts, cops who need lightning. Nice. Electrochemistry is the animal within you. The beast longing to be unleashed and in to indulge and enjoy. It enables you to take drugs with fewer negative side effects. <laughs> cool. It enables you to better investigate lurid matters. If you need to understand a chemical breakdown or talk to someone blasted out of their mind or understand sexual dynamics, electrochemistry is there to guide you. At high levels, electrochemistry makes you a man of unrestrained pleasure, an unrepentant Lothario who leers at people with a bottle of speed and a plastic bendy straw in, in either hand. But with a low electrochemistry, you'll be too innocent to be effective. Without a working knowledge of drugs and sex, the city will be difficult to understand. Deep narco, the motherfucker, the cop who's got the habit from being <laughs> undercover. He knows deep. if it's the good stuff. Deep. Oh my god. Shivers. Raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. Mm. Cool for city lovers. The wisest of street of the streetwise, the genuinely supernatural. Neku from the world ends with you. Shivers come when the temperature drops and you become more keenly aware of your surroundings. It enables you to hear the city itself, to truly belong to the streets. It is a supernatural ability. Old wrongs play out in present time. Scenes across the city happen in front of you. But who is speaking to you? At high levels, shivers make may make you seem mad to the outside world. As you listen to the city, you don't listen to others. Your superiors may begin to worry. With no shivers though, you will seldom hear the city speaking to you. And if you cannot hear it, how can you ever save it? You gotta tune in into the city, you gotta mellow out. Feel it, feel gotta it. Gotta feel it. Yep, yep, absolutely. Keep contact. Beyond with Spidey Sense, it's, it's, it's a... It's a vibe, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good vibes only. You belong to the streets. Half light. Let the body take control. Threaten people. Cool for high strung investigators. Shoot now and ask questions later, cops. Surprise haters. Surprise haters. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> On Twitter. God damn. The half light. Pow, pow. The night mode active. Safety off. <laughs> How flight is your fight or flight response? It enables you to sense the way situations are Blast about to turn. Yeah. And injects palpable fear into your heart. Fear that urges you to act before it's too late to act ever again. Fear that makes you frighten others. It is the aggression that lets you squeeze out every last drop of information out of a witness. At high level, high light, uh, half light makes you ultra attuned to the world. It is perpetual fear of your own shadow of someone else's name or scent. You'll be ready, always, to pounce and physically interrogate passers-by. At low levels, however, you'll find yourself, uh, you'll find your survival instinct is lacking and your method limp-wristed. Those who respect violence will not respect you. Stop resisting! Ugh. Stop resisting! I'm, I'm Stop not, resisting! I'm not... Do I fear for my safety? Oh my god. I fear for my safety! Do what you gotta do. I had a good life. God. Bitch cop. That's not on this page. 
Oops. <laughs> That's a little bit. We can't scroll down. That's a different row. All right. And now the Motorix. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess Motorix as a reference to motor function. I'm gonna guess. It's a, it's but it's a it's it's a new word too. Hand eye coordination. Ready. Aim. Fire. I like ready fire aim. <laughs> Trick shooters, snipers, jugglers. And I coordination loves the interactions between you and the things that fly in the air. It enables you to catch coins from mob bosses, shoot straight, and understand firearms intimately. Want to know the precise make and mark of a pistol? And I coordination's got you. Want to shoot someone with it? Ditto. At high levels, it makes you deadly, supposing you're a weapon in your hand. You've a weapon in your hand, but once you do, hand-eye coordination will compel you to take the shot, even if it's not the best approach. At low levels, however, you'll be even more of a disaster in waiting, because of the, because when the guns go off, and they always do, you'll probably hit the wrong target. So you gotta stay cool. Yep. Yep. Otherwise, don't fire. Level-headed. Perception. See here and smell everything. Let no detail go unnoticed. Cool for fine detail detectives, sensu out sensualists, urban scavengers. Perception wants you to be open to the world with eyes, ears, and nose working at full capacity and enables you to take in what others don't notice. The little wad of bills hid away in the sugar bowl. The odor of a perp hiding beneath the floorboards, the gulp of a suspect after claiming they've nothing to hide. At high levels, perception takes in every final detail of the physical world, enough to overwhelm all but the strongest mind. However, with low levels, you are going to miss out on everything. After all, you can't arrest what you can't see, hear, or smell. As opposed to visual calculus, where the events have already occurred, and you're piecing together what happened, yeah. This seems to be in the present tense. Observing it in the moment. Mm. Reaction speed. The quickest to react. An untouchable man. Cool for shot dodgers. Thinkers on their feet. Pinball heads. Reaction speed is the agility of your body and mind. It is instinct. It enables you to dodge punches, knives, bullets. Also sucker punches of the verbal kind. <laughs> You'll be more streetwise, never lost for words or lacking a witty comeback. Your mental alacrity lets you connect little details on the fly, working in tandem with your intellect skills. At higher levels, reaction speed makes your twitch reflex freakishly good. However, when your body acts before your mind, innocent situations can turn bad fast. You're high strung overly alert. At low levels, though, you won't be the one shooting first, which probably means you won't be shooting at all. Walk through key blasts. No hmm. problem. <laughs> <laughs> Savoir faire. Sneak under their noses. Stun with immense panache. Cool for acrobats, thieves, unbearable show-offs. Savoir faire urges you to be better. Savoir faire. <laughs> okay. Savoir faire. Savoir faire. Savoir faire urges you to be better than you are. It urges you to be disco. Slip by others in Samaran boxing style, then tumble out the back with unexpected acrobatics. It enables you to move with silent footsteps, to groove to a beat to lift useful evidence off perps without them noticing. It also makes you a cooler cop, whose athletic flair will certainly impress the citizenry. At high levels, Savoir Faire will make you the king of cool, which is, as much to say, the most stylish douchebag in Revital. <laughs> Nobody will see you until you're ready to be seen, and then they'll get the full treatment, whether they want it or not. At low levels, however, you'll be a bumbling, feckless cop, Unable to catch a pair of keys thrown by your partner without losing an eye. Feckless. Feckless. That's not a fun word. Anyone ever call you feckless? No. <laughs> That's brutal. Sounds brutal indeed. <sighs> Interfacing. Master machines. Pick locks and pockets. Awesome art for that, too. 
Machinists, tinkerers, instrument players. Interfacing wants you to connect to machines, to use and improve them, because that makes you a better human organism. It enables you to understand interactions with machines, be that how to repair the motor of a Kinema motor carriage, how to analyze the way a suspect used a pen, or how to refigure electrical circuits. It even lets you steal keys off a keyring without being noticed. At high levels, interfacing will isolate you from society. Why bother with people when you can talk to machines? And why bother with things like money when you can just pocket that display sandwich? At low levels, however, you will have a crucial part of the world cut off from you. People use machines to commit crimes all the time. If you can't understand how a crime was accomplished, how can you solve it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So this is... Uh, oh, well, before... before, Hold on a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Composure. Straighten your back. Keep your poker face. Po, po, po. Cool for card players, military fetishists, cool people. <laughs> <laughs> Composure wants you to not crack, or at least it wants you to not crack in front of other people. It enables you to put up a strong front. It keeps your emotions hidden from the world and helps you to read the body language of others, to sense the cracks in their own composure. As well, it keeps you from, from looking good while you do it. It keeps you looking good while you do it. You'll rock that disco outfit a lot more if you don't slouch. At high levels, composure makes you tuck in your gut and maintain a stern expression. Even lying in bed late night when no one else can see you, you'll have to keep it up. You'll never be able to stop. Hmm. With low composure, though, you'll always be the first to crack. Every cop's got a point where they all fear. When all that fear and rage come spilling out, and the ones to unleash it don't stay on the force much longer. Perhaps worse still, you won't even make the ranks of fashion police. Yeah. Yada yada does it. <laughs> okay. So, what's interesting is, I have a couple of these that I'm like, yeah, these ones speak to me. Uh, but we are built in such a way that we do have, like, these caps already here. If there are ones that you feel you want to push, we can modify it. Right? I would definitely maybe lower the intellect to push something else. To push something else, least. right? You feel, you feel, yeah. So, here's, here's where, like, I feel drawn Um, I feel I feel drawn to visual calculus, perception, endurance and volition, inland empire. Um, these these are the ones that speak to me strongly. Yeah, I do like the visual calculus one. Suggestion as well. Shivers and suggestion going on to second second plate. Can you hover hover uh, above Volition again? Uh, to the left of Inland Empire? Mental HP. Right. Physical so, HP. Yeah. The HP section mm -hmm. is important. Yeah. So maybe we should... I don't know. I assume you can die. <laughs> but yeah. you know what I mean? I assume there... But I, you know what? No, wait. Hold on a second. I remember... I was talking to Pat about this. I forget if that was a state. Yeah, you can absolutely... There are fail states, right? So... Uh, so that's a thing, right? Um, so we can we can consider uh, what we want to push on this, right? Um, if I can make a little uh, note here, well, we have to choose a signature skill first before we start customizing. Mm. Um, I'm probably looking at the fact that it's like on this row, conceptualization, or ra rather. Um, uh, visual calculus is what speaks to me here. And we're going to want a little bit, you know, in other places. Uh, these two stand strong. Here it's mainly about this and shiver. So I'm seeing like one, three, two, one, maybe two as well. Like, I feel like Psyche has the most I'm going to want to click on. That's how I feel as well. You feel I the would, same way? I would sack some intellect point and put them into okay. Psyche. Okay, good. Um, physic is also another health bar, but I don't know if we want to go with it and sacrifice intellect for it. Okay. 
So, uh, are we talking slight balance tweak? Or are we talking full balance tweak, right? I'm almost, I'm thinking this. Um, I'm thinking that. Just to allow us to get in the door with some of those psych psyche uh, abilities, mm -hmm. even if we're not necessarily hitting them heavy. You know? Uh, now the question is, is this the signature? Mm. Which will be this skill that will gain a bonus. and get Everything in that row. Yeah, a plus one to everything If else. we're going to do a lot of work in this row, then why not give Psyche the bonus? You know? Would it be worth it to put the signature on physics or motorics since they're at low at two? Say again? Uh, would it be useful to put it on physic or motorics at the bottom two rows because they're low? Because of how low they are? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So if we I have heavy strengths here. Either in psyche or physics. Okay. Uh, then let's go with physique. Yeah. Uh, and we can choose uh, in this row. Again, it's perception. Endure so if you're not looking at motorics, you're saying one of these two rows. If we're going psyche, we're going endurance or shivers. Otherwise, I would say uh, perception is the one that speaks to me most out here. Yeah, either either shivers or perceptions. Okay, I'm big on electrochemistry, but that's just me. All right, but shivers is perception. Let yeah. the city speak to us. Uh huh. Yeah, and we speak back to the city. Street people. Absolutely, that looks good. Absolutely, streetwise. <laughs> 